I thought I'd do a couple of updates. Um, it's been less than 30 days since we did the leaf grinding for the uh, compost. And I'm really amazed. It looks like dirt. Um, I added a little bit of dirt actually into it, but the leaves are pretty much, it's, it's just loose and fluffy. I'm just really amazed at the uh, the leaf grinder. What is what is it? Look at this fall, I'm going to be getting a lot of leaves. We're going to be making a great deal of compost. And also, uh, when I put my hand into it, it used to be really hot in the center when it was cooking. Now it's not so hot. I, I know that's not so good, but it's really pretty much turned into dirt. It's in 30, in 30 days. That's, that's incredible. And I just every so often came out and turned it over like this. But look how loose and fluffy it is. Less than 30 days. That is amazing. Well, it's also been a week since we uh, cast the rocket stove. And the directions were leave it in a bag to slowly cure for one week, and then three weeks, just let it air dry. So it's time to take a look at what we've got. Take a look. Still looks wet, but... Uh, it's coming along very nicely. We'll see what she'll look like in three weeks. Very, very good. All right, and as you can see, this is just an example because we're not quite ready for it yet. But uh, just cut a, a piece of tile. It's a little bit like that. And you want the air to be able to flow underneath the fire. That's going to make a superheated flame as it comes up through the top. And when you light it, I'll show you this in a little while when we're actually doing it, but it, it loads like this. We'll go over all this in a little while, but what you really want though is the air to be able to flow underneath the fire and up through the chimney. I've started just collecting some of the uh, firewood that I'm going to be using for the rocket stoves. I know it's a little early because they're still curing, but it's not a bad time now. Just to go around and uh, pick up some limbs off the ground. And you want something smaller than a finger in width up to a little over a finger of width. And it uh, should be interesting. Again, <clears throat> looking for fuel for the rocket stove. We've got limbs that have fallen off trees and that, that kind of thing. But this is a pallet that came with the uh, solar array. And I know that it's not pressure treated. And I'll cut this up also, just break it apart. So if you find uh, non-pressure treated uh, pallets or really anything that's non-pressure treated, go ahead, take it apart, break it up, and use it for uh, your rocket stove material. You don't need the conventional heavy, heavy duty uh, firewood that you, you used to need. Well, it's been about three weeks on the uh, solar panel since uh, installation's been completed. It's been running flawlessly. Uh, real good addition to the homestead. Real exciting project. Take a look at it if you haven't seen it already.